Know your nuts. How to examine your testicles and what to look out for. It's always good to understand your body and how to keep it healthy. In this short video, we will be talking to you about what you need to look out for when checking your balls and what to do if you find any problems. How do your testicles develop? It may surprise you to know that your testicles aren't always in your scrotum. When you were growing inside your mother, your testicles sit in the middle of your tummy. Before birth, they slide down through a tube located between the muscles at the front of your tummy, allowing the testicles to pass into your scrotum. This tube then closes. What do testicles do? Healthy testicles do two main things. Firstly, they produce a hormone called testosterone, which is important for your sexual development and a healthy body. Secondly, testicles produce sperm, but this only starts during puberty. How can I know if my testicles are healthy? The best way to check that your balls are healthy is to examine them regularly, at least once a month. Your testicle is comprised of two parts. At the front, it should feel like a smooth oval ball, which is quite firm but not hard. If you feel the back of your ball, there is an area that is more squishy than the front, which can also feel like it has some soft lumps in it. This is the epididymis. Above your testicle is the sperm duct and blood vessels that feel a bit like a piece of string. It is useful to get to know how each of your balls feel individually, then compare to each other, as they may be slightly different in size and shape. That's normal. Where and when should I check my balls? It is easiest to examine your balls when your body is warm and relaxed, as your balls will usually hang lower within your scrotum. A bath or shower is usually a good time to check yourself carefully. How do I check my balls? Using both hands, roll each testicle in turn between finger and thumb, feeling for any lumps or bumps in the ball. Making sure you cover the entire ball. The back of the testicle, the epididymis, can sometimes feel soft and slightly lumpy, so get to know how yours feel. Above the testicle, you may be able to feel a stringy structure called the sperm duct, but not everyone can. Some people find cupping the scrotum in the palm of your hand slightly lifting the testes is helpful. Once you've found a way that works for you, check each of your testicles in the same way each time, as you are trying to spot any changes or differences from month to month. What should I be looking out for when checking my balls? The first time you examine yourself, it is useful to check that you have two testicles in your scrotum. Don't panic if you can't. They are usually there somewhere. Maybe have another go when you are warmer or more relaxed. If you think there's a problem, tell a parent or trusted adult and make an appointment to see your doctor so that they can check all as well. Similarly, if your testicle sometimes leaves the scrotum and moves upwards from the scrotum into the groin, get this checked out by a doctor. Your balls grow a lot during puberty and it's quite common for one testicle to be slightly larger than the other, or for one to hang a little lower than the other one. However, if there is a large size difference, or one side feels a lot heavier or sits a lot lower than the other one, you should get this checked out, especially if this is a new change since the last time you checked yourself. Any new lumps or bumps that you didn't feel before should be checked out by a doctor especially if a lump or area feels hard. If a testicle feels painful or swollen, you should also get it checked out. What should I do if I find any of those things? It's not very likely that you'll feel anything unusual when you check your balls. If everything feels fine, great, just keep checking each month. If you do find a new lump, a hard area, or notice a difference, Tell a responsible adult and make sure you see your doctor very soon. The chances are that it's nothing to worry about, but if it is something uncommon but serious, like testicular cancer, catching it early will almost always result in a complete cure. Don't be embarrassed. 
there is no need to be embarrassed. Although talking about your balls may seem awkward, medical professionals deal with things like this all the time so they won't feel weird talking to you about it. If you notice a lump or any other problem in your balls, you need to let a doctor examine them, as it is easier for doctors to sort out problems if they are caught early. So, examine your balls regularly to check that they're healthy, as it is spotting a change that will make a real difference. Know your balls.